uh, you know, it's easy to forget that we have to do this every once in a while. Okay. Backlog! 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 backlog hey it's that time again it's time where we take a look at our backlog and we talk about our backlog in a little show called a little show backlog. called backlog i'm realizing i didn't mute alerts but we're not getting any so that's good <laughs> all right so if you don't know how this works we have an excel spreadsheet of every game we've ever bought or owned over the past like 30 40 years of being on this planet and today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've actually played it so how many we got? It's like 900 something? 900. I, it's 900, 900. Give me a something. 900. Uh, 69. <laughs> nice. I'm not, I'm not making it up. It nice. says 69 on my computer right here. Um, ooh. Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear. Ooh. ooh. Which, wait. Which one was the one? Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I, I need a. I need some gameplay of Sonic the Hedgehog for the on game the gear. Game Gear. Now this is not a game we grew up with. This is a game we oh, got later. Okay. So it is actually the first Sonic the Hedgehog game just ported to the Game Gear. Technically, yes. Okay. It's it's its own thing. It's got its own story. It's got its it's got a really good soundtrack that's different from the Genesis game. Um, but it is in a sense. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on Game Gear. Can you spin dash is the big question. No. So definitely never played this game <laughs> for a few reasons. Yeah. Uh, so we bought it later, probably at a convention. I yeah. think I was on a quest one at one point in my life. I was on a quest to just get a bunch of Game Gear games because we had a Game Gear growing yeah. up. What games did we have for the Game we Gear? We had Sonic up? the Hedgehog 2. Okay. We had Sonic Chaos, which we covered on this channel. That is a great that game. That is a really good I game. I like that game a lot. Uh, what do we have originally on Game Gear? So Sonic Chaos, Sonic 2, Sonic Drift 2. I loved Sonic Drift 2. Yeah. Uh, not a good game, no, but not I, I loved game. it growing up. Uh, we had G-Lock Air Battle. I also loved that game. Probably also not a great game. Definitely not a good game. We had uh, MLB Baseball. Also played the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah. I love my Game Gear. Yeah, game, game Gear was sick. Good, yeah. Uh, Tom and Jerry, the movie. Not a good game. Not but, a good game, but yeah. I played a lot of that. Um, yeah, but we're not wait, talking wait, about Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Sonic has passed. <laughs> R.I.P. Sonic. Yeah. Uh, but we're not talking about any of those games we were talking about. Sonic the Hedgehog on Game Gear. So there were a lot of Sonic games on the Game Gear. Yeah. Uh, even Sonic Chaos, people say that the Game Gear version is the worst version. Yeah. Because this, the, the, the resolution's worse. The screen has to be punched in like a yeah. lot. So this game, now that you mentioned that, was also, there's also a Master System version of the game. And that version people prefer because you can play it on a screen and the screen's not only bigger, but zoomed out so you can see more of your surroundings. Yeah, so a lot of Game Gear games had Master System versions and people prefer the Master System yeah. versions for the reason you just said. Mm -hmm. uh, so because of that, uh, that is one reason why this would be a bad game. Yeah. <laughs> because you're already, Sonic's big, the, yeah. the screen is pushed in a lot, and you're Sonic, so you're going fast, so it would be best to see more of the stuff in front of yeah. you. Uh, and you can't, so the game's not that good for it. Also, Sonic 1... I'm a big Sonic guy. Sonic 1, not a great game. Yeah. Sonic 1's a little rough. Yeah. I mean, Sonic 1 is impressive, but Sonic 2 is just a completely, like, it blows it out of the water. Really? The spin dash the spin fixes dash, the game. It does. <laughs> and the thing it's is, It's so like, important for the game. You know, the spin dash is not in the Game Gear version of Sonic 1. It's not even in the Game Gear version of Sonic 2. So Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I will say, though, like, between the two, like, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 on Game Gear, this one's a little bit better because it's fair. Sonic 2 on Game Gear is, like, unnecessarily hard and unfair a lot of times. This game at least, like, gives you a decent challenge. Like, it doesn't, like, punish you as much as the Sonic okay. 2 does. Uh, also like to point out that the soundtrack for this i believe was done by the same people who did the soundtracks for streets of rage oh so it's got a really banger soundtrack i'm gonna i'm gonna play a little let bit. me just 
confirm that because actually I can't play it. I think I ruined the audio in Discord. <laughs> so I'll note a couple of things. One mm-hmm. of them is that the frame rate's just atrocious. I don't know if oh, it's just yeah. the capturing of this of this no, version. No, it's the Game Gear. There's the f- the capturing the the frame rate of the Game Gear, especially with fast games, is bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this also notably looks great coming from the game capture but on a the game gear screen is <laughs> even though it was full color and uh had a backlight it was still a pretty bad screen it had yeah. a weird ghosting and stuff uh so probably didn't look too great either i'll also say uh this does not look like sonic one at all no this looks like a completely different game i don't yeah. think this is a port at all well no it's not this was uh developed by a team called ancient who again okay. also went on to make Streets of Rage and uh, Revenge of Shinobi. So it was not made by Sonic Team. It was made in tandem with Sonic Team so that they have like a portable version mm-hmm. in addition to the home console version. But like I said, it's its own beast with its own storyline, with its own uh, mechanics to it and stuff. It's it's a complement to Sonic on Genesis. It's not the portable version of Sonic on Genesis. I'll also note that uh, I saw him just straight up get a Chaos Emerald in a level. Yeah. So I don't know <laughs> what that would deal with that. Mm-hmm. Also, I think I have this on uh, the Game Gear Mini. Remember those consoles yes. that came out? The little Game yeah. Gear Mini guys? I think I have this on one of those guys. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought this on my quest to get every Sonic game for the Game Gear. That's what it was. I wanted yeah. every single Sonic game for the Game Gear. Do we have every Sonic game for the Game Gear? Are we missing uh, any? F- I'm pretty I sure we're like good. We don't. No, we don't. We have Sonic Chaos, Sonic Drift 2, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic Triple Trouble. Yeah. I know we're missing Sonic Labyrinth, oh. Sonic Blast, and the two Tails games. Ooh, and I guess Sonic Drift 1, right? Yeah, but that was only released in Japan. Oh, it oh, and Sonic Spinball we don't have on Game Gear. Wow, we're missing a lot. We are missing a lot. I really failed at this quest yeah. <laughs> to get a Sonic game for the Game Gear. Okay. So, the reason why I wanted to bring up the soundtrack specifically um, is because there's a level in the game. I don't remember the exact level, but the music of that level was later remixed and remade for the Janet Jackson song Together Again. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> That is that is a that is a real thing. For this game specifically? That from that game, yes. Wow. Yeah. Where it goes Oh, I know that song. Yeah. That's from this That's game. That's from that game. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that I mean, I think they gave them credit. I don't know. <laughs> but it just shows you that like no matter what the context, Sonic the Hedgehog always has good music. It always does have good music. Even if the game is Garbo. Uh, Griffinix in the chat says, all of them, meaning the Game Gear Sonic games, are in Sonic Origins collection, right? I, yes. Is it all of them? Most of them. No, I think it's all of them. They added all the it, ones you just said? Yeah, they added oh. it to Sonic Origins Plus. Uh, people were mad about that because they didn't have the Master System version. Yeah. But uh that's fine. What's yeah. whatever. Uh so there you go. That's Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear. Uh not the fondest Game Gear memory, but No. Uh, I want to play it now. I want to I want to give it a No, you know what? I want to play Sonic Labyrinth. No you don't. No. No, because the whole the whole conceit of Sonic Labyrinth is uh he loses his shoes and can't run fast. Oh, it's isometric. Yeah. And, and, he, and he's slow. Sonic Chaos is the best one. Sonic Chaos is the best, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you're if you going to play a game of your Sonic game, absolutely play Sonic Chaos. That game rips. Um, yes. I mean, check out Sonic 1 and 2 if you're curious. Triple Trouble is also not bad. Um, Triple Trouble, I think, is the one that I want. Because I haven't played that one. Yeah, that one we do have. The problem is our game gear is busted. I need to fix it. Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, there's always like there's like one resistor I think that gets just gets shitty. Over yeah, time. well, it, it definitely needs a new screen. Uh, isn't it just black? I think that's a resistor. Is it? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. Um. Anyway, thanks for coming down to the backlog. Yeah. Guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more backlog, and also come to a podcast sometime. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>